How's it going guys? So my YouTube channel recently got approved for monetization So I thought it would be fun to reveal in this video exactly how much YouTube paid me for my first month of monetization with 1,000 subscribers So if you are a new YouTuber or thinking of starting then make sure you watch the entire video Because I will also explain the requirements by YouTube to get monetized and how the entire process works So if you're interested, let's get started Now I'm gonna break this video into three parts First I'll explain the requirements from YouTube for the channel to be monetized then I'll reveal how much YouTube paid me for my first three months of monetization. And finally, I'll provide my personal thoughts on how my channel has performed in the last 12 months and how I plan to improve it going forward. So in order to start monetizing your YouTube channel, you need to satisfy two main requirements from YouTube. One, you must have 1,000 subscribers. And two, you must have 4,000 watch hours in the past 12 months. Then there are some other minor requirements which you can do later as they are easier to fulfill. But these two on screen are the main ones that is the most challenging for new creators. So the first requirement is pretty self-explanatory. You will need to get 1,000 people to subscribe to your channel. Although I should note the number of subscribers doesn't necessarily contribute to how much money you make. What's more important is how many people watch your videos. However, having subscribers will increase the chance that your videos will be watched since it will appear on their subscription feed. So it is a good indication that people are interested in your channel, hence why it's the first requirement. The second requirement means you'll need 4,000 public watch hours in the last 12 months. So if your channel is older than 12 months, the watch times on your videos that are older than 12 months will reset. So it is in your best interest to try to get 4,000 watch hours before 12 months. The longer you leave it, the harder it will be. The best way to reach this requirement is to make as many videos as you can. And once you achieve these requirements, YouTube will send you an email to invite you to join their YouTube partner program. This allows you to turn on monetization features on your channel and it gives YouTube permission to run paid ads before, during and at the end of your videos. So I got my invitation around mid-September and it took about a week to approve my channel. I have heard that sometimes it takes a bit longer so I may have got lucky. You will also need to sign up for a Google AdSense account and link it to your YouTube channel because this is where you will get paid. If you didn't know, Google actually owns YouTube and that is why you need a Google AdSense account to be paid. So the way Google AdSense works is companies will pay Google to run ads during your videos. Google will then pay you 55% of the revenue from the ad and pocket the remaining 45% for themselves. When you link your Google AdSense account to your YouTube channel, it gives YouTube permission to run paid adverts during your videos. And the types of companies competing for ad space will depend on what kind of niche or topic your channel talks about. For example, if you're a tech review channel and you did an iPhone review video, it is likely that Apple will pay Google to place an Apple advert during your video. This is because Apple knows that the type of people clicking on the video is obviously interested in the new iPhone, so an advert will be targeting those particular people. And like I said before, Google will then pay you 55% of the advert revenue and keep 45% for themselves. So I started this YouTube channel last year in September 2021 and about a year later, I was accepted into the YouTube Partner Program. So when I finally hit 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watched hours, YouTube sent me a message to ask if I wanted to monetize my channel. After I said yes, YouTube reviewed my channel to make sure my content was clean, legit, and I didn't have any copyright strikes. Now I've heard from other YouTubers that it took over a month to review their channel and sometimes even longer, but it seems like I got lucky and my channel was approved within a week. I then linked my Google AdSense account to the YouTube Partnership Program and they asked for my address. Then they physically mailed a passcode to my address just to make sure I was a real person. They will only allow you to add your bank details once you receive the passcode and enter it into your AdSense account. This is the part where I wasn't so lucky. I waited for over a month but nothing came through the mail so I requested another letter and it arrived about two weeks later. So it took me about six weeks to get my bank details sorted. Once I received the code, I entered it into my AdSense account then it asked me for my bank details. However, it came up with an error when I entered my bank account. I tried a few bank accounts and it still didn't work which is strange because these were some of the big banks in Australia. So I contacted YouTube through my YouTube studio and they fixed it for me within a week. So if you are also a YouTuber and you're going through the same issue, then I would suggest you contact YouTube through your YouTube studio. So how much did YouTube pay me in my first month? Well, let's open up my YouTube studio. Let's go to analytics and click revenue. To make it easier for you to understand the timeline, let's change the date range to the last 90 days. So it's currently December 2022 and I started earning money around September, which gives a good representation of when I first got monetized and until this very moment. Now as you can see, there are three tabs up here which I will explain what they mean one by one. It is important to understand these terms to get a better understanding of how YouTube pays their creators. I'll start from the right and the first tab is the playback based CPM. CPM stands for cost per 1000 impressions. This is a YouTube term that represents how much advertisers pay for every 1000 times an advert is shown on my video. As you can see, my CPM is around $40 which is considered higher than average in the YouTube space. The CPM rate largely depends on what niche or topic your YouTube channel is about. So for my channel, I talk about personal finance and money and this topic attracts big companies like banks who are willing to pay more to Google for advertising space. And this in turn allows Google to pass on the extra revenue to their creators which increases their CPM. I'll leave a link down below to a few articles if you're interested to know the different CPMs for different niches. The next tab is the RPM which stands for revenue per meal. 
and this is another YouTube term that represents how much money I earn from every 1,000 views. And that includes revenue from ads, YouTube premium, channel memberships, super chat, super stickers, and all the other monetization options that YouTube offers. But right now, I've only enabled ads as my only source of revenue. So currently my RPM is around $19, which to be honest is quite good. And the main difference between CPM and RPM is that CPM is more of an advertiser focused metric as it only includes revenue from ads and YouTube premium. Whereas RPM includes everything. So as a creator myself, I prefer to look at the RPM as it is more of a creator focused metric and it provides a more accurate overall summary of how my channel is performing. Also, if you're wondering why my RPM is lower than my CPM, it's because RPM is calculated after YouTube's revenue share and CPM is calculated before YouTube's revenue share. So as I mentioned before, YouTube takes a 45% cut from the money advertisers pay to run ads on my video. And the RPM is showing the amount after YouTube takes their cut. So if you're interested to know more about how RPMs and CPMs are calculated, I'll leave a link to another article that explains it in greater detail. All right, now let's get to the good part. This final tab is my estimated revenue, and as the name suggests, it's an estimate of how much YouTube will pay me during the chosen time frame. So since I picked the last 90 days, it's telling me I made around $600 in that time frame. Now I wanna show you this graph that tracks when I first started to make money from YouTube until this very moment. So YouTube informed me that I was eligible for monetization around this time in September. So this was the moment when I hit 1,000 subscribers and had 4,000 hours of watch time. Once I accepted YouTube's invitation to monetize, they finally approved my channel on the 26th of September, 2022, and on that day, I earned a whopping $3.79. I'm laughing right now, but honestly, even though it seems like an insignificant amount, I actually feel proud that I made any money at all from YouTube, even if it's just $3. Because that $3 proved that it was possible for me to make money on YouTube, and it could be a viable source of passive income for me in the future. I mean, you gotta start somewhere, right? So over the next month, I was consistently earning $6 to $14 a day. And if I scroll down to my monthly estimated revenue, it shows that I made $32.05 for those five days in September, and $272.91 for the whole of October. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with that because I actually slowed down a bit with my new video uploads from October because I went on holiday to New Zealand with my family during this time. So I didn't get a chance to upload new videos. Also, my entire family got sick when we got back to Australia, which further slowed down my production by a few weeks. So it was around this time here, and as you can see, there was about a month in between videos. And you may have noticed my November earnings is lower than October, and that is simply because I barely uploaded any videos in November. I uploaded this one video about bad money habits on the 2nd of November and the next video was posted on the 9th of December. Unfortunately, I was just very busy with work during this time. And FYI, in case you didn't know, I still have a full-time job and I'm doing YouTube on the side. Also, I have a 20-month-old daughter to take care of who keeps me very busy and I had some family issues that needed my attention. But everything is good now and I hope to be uploading more frequently in the new year. So as you can see from the graph, I went about five weeks without making a video, but since I had a backlog of videos that people were watching, I still made around $6 per day and $202 in total during November. That's not bad at all. So to summarize, I made around $273 on my first full month of monetization and I made about $600 in the last three months. And that was with about 1,000 subscribers. Not too shabby. So am I happy with my channel's performance so far? To be honest, I'm actually really happy with how my channel has performed in the last 12 months. It definitely hasn't been the smoothest 12 months in my personal life. I had originally planned to do at least a video a week, which would make it at least 52 videos for the year. However, life got in the way at times and I only managed to make 26 videos. So that's literally half the amount of videos that I originally planned to make. According to an article that I read, there was a study that showed that it takes over 100 videos for the average YouTuber to get 1,000 subscribers and be monetized. So I feel very lucky and blessed to have got there with 26 videos. In addition, none of my videos went viral, so the growth was consistent and organic. So this has encouraged me to make more videos in 2023 to grow my channel faster. Right now, I'm still a part-time YouTuber, and a lot of my time is split between my full-time job and my family, which includes my 20-month-old daughter. So I have to sacrifice any spare time I have to work on this YouTube channel. But you know what? I'm happy to do this because content creation and making videos is my passion. And even if YouTube didn't pay me, I would probably still do it for free as a hobby. YouTube to me is a creative outlet which makes me happy. Having said all that, I do have a family to feed, so the money I earn in my first few months, no matter how small, is my proof of concept that YouTube can be a viable passive income source for me. So it's really nice to know that my hobby has the potential to make money that can help support my family. And every video I upload is like a piece of digital product that will continue to make me money in the future, especially if I continue to gain more viewers. And I find that amazing. So how can I improve my channel in 2023 and beyond? Firstly, like I already mentioned, I want to create more videos. My aim is to make at least 52 videos in 2023, so that's one video per week. In order to do this, I will have to be more efficient with my timing and my work process. 2022 was kind of like an experiment year for me. And now that I've proven to myself that I can actually make money online with this whole YouTube thing, it's time to take it to the next level. I'm now one year wiser and I'm getting better and faster at making videos. It's important to note that I'm currently still a one-man show. 
So I script, film, and edit all my videos, and all the titles, thumbnails, and uploads is done by me. Maybe in the future, I may hire an editor, but I think for now, it's important for me to learn every single step of the YouTube production line. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already, so you don't miss future videos like this. Also, the secret word today is passive income, so comment that down below if you've made it this far, so I know that you are one of my OG viewers. I appreciate you, and let's continue the video. So I consider YouTube to be one of my sources of passive income, but it's important to have multiple sources of passive income so that if one source is taken away, you still have the others to keep you afloat. So if you're interested to know other ways to make passive income, I want you to go check out this video on screen where I go over different ways you can make passive income so you are better diversified. And with that being said, thank you for watching. I appreciate you, and I'll see you in the next video.